Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for mo It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to introduce you to how to use uh, follow on actions in Loopy Pro. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so I just launched uh, um, Loopy Pro. And the first thing I want to do is just to record some loops. So I'm going to set the tempo, so I click there and I accept the 120 tempo and I'm going to select one bar, which is already selected. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to record um, um, five clips and for each of the clip, I'm going to record just a number. So from one to five, so let's try. One, 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 okay, stop, second one. Two, two, three, three. Actually, I'm going to stop there instead of recording five of them because I think um, three of them will just uh, explain the composite uh, as well. So first thing I want to do is just um, slide up and um, just scroll down and set the loop to play only once. So when you click on it, it will not to go on indefinitely but it will play only once so let's try one as you can see very nice so let's do that um, to the second clip as well place once and also to the third clip as well okay so we have now set up the basics and now let's go to the first loop let's click and slide up and now let's start to scroll down and um, right at the bottom, you will find a option which is called follow action. So what are follow actions? Well, they are action which are triggered after something else has happened. So as you can see, you can trigger a follow actions after the recording has begun, or when it is finished, when the play started, after it stopped, after you cleared, and after the amplitude envelope. So in this case, what I want to do is that after the first clip has finished playing, I want the second clip to start. And when the second clip has finished playing, I want the third clip to start playing. So in this case, I'm going to select stop because it means that after the first clip has stopped playing, a follow action will occur. So I click on the plus sign. And here it gives you a number of action that you can select and they're grouped by clip action. As you can see for clip, you can do play stop, solo, mute, record. But as you scroll down, you will find action specific to color group. So in this case, it will play and stop the first one for a particular color group. You can do also effect action, widget action, which we haven't covered yet, page action, session, actions, uh, media action, audio source action, bus action, and controller action. So there's really a lot to look at. So let's concentrate on clip action and I click play and stop because I want to actually play the next clip. Here it allows me for the play stop action to select the target, the action, the quantization, if I want to have a fade in, out, and in respect play groups, active or not. So let's start with the basics. Let's select the target. So I click where it says no. And here it allows you to select the number of options per clips, per colors. So in this case, I'm going to go per clips. And here you have a selection of applying a target for specific clips, the next up clips, and last tapped clip, this a selected clip or uh, all clips. In this case, I want a specific clip, so I click on the first one, and I'm going to select here the um, second clip, and I'm going to click Save, click back on Follow Action, and then click Close. So let's try. I'm going to click on the first clip, and if everything is well, it will play only once. After it played, it will stop. A Follow Action will kick in, will be enabled which will play the second clip which will play only once because that is how we configured so let's try one two so as you can see works perfectly well and you let's um to prove again the concept let's go to the second clip 
Let's click on follow action. Let's click again, stop. We say play stop as a clip action, which is a target, a specific clip, the third one, click save. As you can see, the action here after the target is play stop. We are going to leave all the other options as default. Go back to follow action, then click close, click outside. So let's demonstrate. One. Two. Three. Okay, so as you can see, works really nicely. And of course, you need to be careful with follow action because you can go into a repetitive of infinite loop. Let me give you an example. Let's go to the third clip, like so. We brought it up and uh, let's scroll down. Uh, let's go to follow actions. And let's say after it stops playing, we do a play stop as a clip action and we select as a target the specific clip, i.e. the first one. Click Save, Follow on Action, Close. You will see now that when I trigger the first clip, it plays Stop, then it triggers the second uh, clip, which will play and stop, which will trigger the third clip, which will play and stop. After the stop, it triggers the first one, and the cycle will continue. So let me demonstrate to you. One. Two. Three, one, two. When you enter and loop, the easiest way to come out of it is to play and stop the entire session. That's the best way to come out from it. And then go to the last uh, uh, clip where we put the last follow action. Go to follow action. And here on the stop, you have that action. So click and hold, swipe to the left and delete it. In that case, you remove the last one, which will trigger again back to the first clip to be played. So let's click play and try again from the first clip. And you will see it will stop. It will stop at the third one. One, two, three. Okay. So as you can see, it's quite uh, a straightforward. Of course, from here, you can do any combination you like. Just go back to the clip, go inside again, follow actions, and then you can add additional actions as well. It doesn't have to be only one, okay? So you can try other ones. So let's, for example, add another one, play and stop. And let's say we target again, a specific clip, the third one. Let's click Save, follow on action, close, and let's try. One, two, three. Okay, so let's go back one, to two, three. Okay, let's go back to, oops, the detail of the first clip and let's uh, uh, bring up the follow on action. As you can see, after the first follow action, there is going into clip three. So they're not played together. If you want them to play together, so what you have to do is go back to the first one, target the clip, change the target of the clips and select both here and then click save. In this way, you have them playing two and three at the same time after the first one is playing. So let's try. One, three. Two. Three. Of course, the third clip is played twice because uh, after we have played the second clip and that has stopped, that will trigger follow action for the third clip. Okay, I hope that uh, is... Um, Good to start with follow actions and I'll see you at the next video. Thank you. Bye.